Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Unicorn Overlord. I bought a PS5 just for this game. I have no other games installed. As proof, I will demonstrate right now. A moment. Let's play with. So, I just briefly hopped in there to see how it generally ran. So, without further ado, let's just get right in there. I, I took the effort to buy a projector and a PS5 for this game. And uh, this is what I got. Oh, it's ominous. Still ominous. We see a lot of thunder clouds and and doom and gloom. The unicorn. The unicorn overlorders. I beg you, my queen, take leave of this place while you're still able. To where I might ask? My every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmor. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Oh no. If the general seeks my death and mine alone, I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can, a soul rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climbs that await. And pray safeguard the ring of the unicorn as well. Hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. My queen, I... Mother? Are they coming for us? Oh, no. Not that kind of come. Not that kind of come. Go away. Heed well these words, Elaine. I say this not as your mother, but as your queen. From here forth, you're to treat Joseph's command as though it were spoken directly with my tongue. Do you understand? Of course, but is there something amiss? My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. Farewell. Oh no. And may the heavens guide you. Oh no, killing off the parental figure. We're back in Fire Emblem. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you just standing there, Joseph? Aren't you going to help her? Would that I were able, my prince. Come, we've not a minute to spare. So I think it's only right for me to explain this a little bit before we continue. I don't really play console games. The last game I played that was a console game was Halo, and that was like 2003 on the actual Xbox. The original Xbox, not even Xbox Live. Not even Xbox 360, just the original Xbox, the, the shitty one. Yeah. After that, I never really played uh, any console games, and this is my first one in 21 years. 21 years. <laughs> Uh, I mostly pass my time playing stuff like uh, PC games or, uh, you know, just general board games. I also played a little bit of a... Uh, what's that called? Consider wisely our options. Make haste. also play a bit of mobile games here and there, but uh, I never really played those competitive fighting games. Hmm, okay. Oh! Ooh, nasty. Allow me. Then had it coming. We strive together. Does this suit you? Oh! My magic is yours. He died from one of those, and he stabbed him three times. Merciless. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. wait. 
if I see the details of the unit. Oh, ah, okay, triangle. Was this guy Renault? Damn, this man, this man not playing around. <laughs> Rodrick was blocking everything. Alcina, Gailey. Okay, yeah, seems pretty good. Uh, just, just keep moving. Uh, just keep moving towards uh, Glenis. Go, forward. Oh, what was that? Oh, I squeezed the trigger. Excellent. Sorry. Wait. Oh, this is a fast forward button. Now that's cute. <laughs> I like how it's at the right. I like how it's at the R2 trigger. Like people who are impatient with FPS games can just spam their favorite button like this. And hopefully they get the get it done. <laughs> I kind of like it crispy like this though. Everyone moving really quickly. It's kind of fun. Funny looking at it like this. It also keeps a more frantic atmosphere of the fight. That it's not like one slow turn by turn kind of deal. And uh, yeah, having the fight be frantic and fast is it's pretty fun. Gotta go fast, you know? <laughs> Seize her. Enlighten me, Valmore. To what end do you seek to usurp my throne? Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. Oh no. Zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of Feverith. And I, the blade to restore our world to its natural order. You seek to plunge the continent into war. <laughs> Feverith need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Now, I shall achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I would sooner see you slain by my hand! Oh, that's rough. It foreshadows a defeat. That's, that's not fun. Our IP. I promise you, my queen, the royal lineage shall endure. It is but a great shame I couldn't aid you further. All has gone according to plan, my lord. Up the dead. <laughs> or imprisoned. Or worse. And yet our work only just begins. That could be worse. We stand now at a new dawn for Feverith. One which will see Zenoira's dominion restored at last. I don't know. Uh, humiliated. Though, that we've no trace of the old knight's captain. As prostitutes and uh, prostitutes. That, my lord. A lone cavalry unit was spotted riding through the eastern gate before it was barred. And the boy is lost to us. A truth obscured only by his mother's futile attempt at a counter-offensive. It would seem I underestimated her penchant for deception. So yeah, strategy games have more or less been my bread and butter for much Year of my life. Of the Chronicle, so this is really exciting for me. a scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire. Cordia's once decorated General Valmore rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corin. Oh no, he has two horns. It's That's not the unicorn. Alenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight, <laughs> and mustering what meager forces remained by her side. She rallied a defense. As valorous as it was damned. On. On. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph, who took wing beyond Valmore's wretched grasp to asylum on the forded isle of Palavia in the holy kingdom of Albion. Ah, Bicon! 
He's the Bicon Overlord. And boastfully proclaiming himself Bevereth's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Yet each realm's endeavors fell in vain time and again. And ere long, Zenoira's vile dominion was realized. His blood soaked unification come to bear. Few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance burned on. Yet the downtrodden could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. Desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing night. The Bicon Overlord. Years have passed since the Shroud of War first set over Cornea. And now you, the unicorn, have to purify all of the bad PCD. <laughs> so, yeah, seems good. Those two are at it again. Well, that takes care of the altar. I suppose I should be getting back. That's an altar. Looks like a pavilion. Title drop. You're the unicorn overlord who has to purify the influence of the bicorn overlord. So yeah, a bit of background on myself, I guess, before we continue. I uh I played strategy games for much of my life. In fact, one of my most played games on my phone, surprisingly, is Water Sword. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Sorry, Elaine, but this round's mine. Ah, you always were the optimist. Damn it! You got a good hit in. I'll give you that. <sighs> There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Where do you think he's back on the mainland now? Finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices, I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Well, yeah, but... Zenoira's got the whole world in the palm of their hand. How are we gonna fight back against that? The Earth may be theirs, but the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. Oh, that's Connie. You got a oh. point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, Lex. You know I can't do this without you. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's enough training for today. We're gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Hmm? You see something out there? I also like our defense games. Looks like they're flying Zenoira colors oh. too. This island is no longer safe. We have to tell the others. With you there. You head for the cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming. Yeah, sorry about that. I try not to talk over them, but uh, I thought they were going to fade into a cutscene where we show where we're shown what's on the boat. Seal off the harbor and do it quick. Not a soul gets off this island under our watch. We're paid to do these lines after all, so I want to respect the people who did the localization where possible. It's just I can't predict. I'm not a, I'm not a future reader. Have alighted, sir. Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. Wait, Odric? And remember, we're to apprehend the target alive. What? Understood, sir. Wasn't he the shield guy who was who was blocking all the hits? Wait, what? We pray this day for deliverance from evil. 
evil. Let us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Oh, not that kind of come. Guide our lost souls on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us, for darkness looms thick through all corners of Febrith. Thick. Not that kind of thick. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the Guardian Unicorn, and that of the Holy Mother. Is that you, Elaine? Something tells me, so Elaine. Must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? Uh, what is the meaning of this? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. Rough her up if you want, but don't forget. The girl dies, and our heads will roll too. Such depravity will not go unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father. Oh no, not in the yeah. church. Then you best get to praying. <laughs> She's fast. Not as fast as us. What the? Oh. Scarlet, are you hurt? Only a little shaken. That's all. What's happening to us, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palavian soil. One hoisting the banner of the Xenoiran army. That's a great line. Not as fast and as I. Are they aware that you're the Crown Prince? I can't say for certain, but we know one thing. These people are our enemy, and they must be stopped. Yes. My cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move outside. Your Highness, it's a relief to see you unharmed. Hold on, where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. A ring. The Ring of the Unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In the truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply across your face. But we no longer have such luxury. The room and all. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. Thank you for this, Joseph. Truly. Make no further mention of it. Now, let us be off. A lot of me was debating on whether I wanted to play this in Japanese dub or English dub. Ah, uh, what a battle stages are the fields of combat where allied and enemy units wage war in real time. Each battle stage has victory conditions that must be fulfilled in order to complete it, such as defeating the enemy commander. Allied units can be deployed from any base flying a blue flag. First, move the cursor to the command post with the left stick and give his unit the order to deploy. Alright, yeah, let's go! This is what I paid for. This is what I lived for. <laughs> Deploying a unit costs Valor Point from the gauge display in the upper left of the screen. That was a gauge? Oh, okay. Valor Points can be replenished by defeating enemies, liberating towns and fortresses, and more. Elaine, look! They've already reached the town. Oh, sorry. Let's, let's just not read that part, oh god. I'm not a voice actress. Then we know our first aim. We must dispatch those soldiers as quickly as possible. I'm not a voice actor, so... I probably shouldn't. Uh, to me. When an allied unit encounters an enemy unit, the battle menu will appear at the bottom of the screen. Use it to organize your forces and view enemy details before battle. Select battle once you've finished preparing to enter the fray. So just talk, talking briefly about where I came from. <laughs> yeah, aside from... Oh, sorry. Battles play out automatically according to various predetermined rules. First, a combatant's initiative determines their turn order within battle. When the combatant's turn arrives, they will use one of their active skills. Lean Edge. Using an active skill consumes action points. Oh, nasty. Combatants will take turns using active skills in order according to their initiatives. 
battle will continue until all combatants run out of AT. So initiative represents speed. Sort of. Uh, turn speed. Turn speed. That could be other forms of speed, like uh, delay speed. Passive skills will trigger automatically when certain conditions are met, such as being hit with an attack. First, a lane's noble guard skill triggers when he's attacked, causing him to protect himself. Using a passive skill consumes BP, passive points. Next, Scarlet's quick heal, quick heal skill triggers when an enemy ally takes damage, thus healing that ally. It'd be awkward if she healed the enemy. Finally, the enemy's parting blow skill triggers at the end of battle, performing an additional attack. Ooh, let's see. Battle will end when all combatants have run out of action points, or when all combatants on one side have been defeated. You can also press uh, square to view the battle log and review the skills that were used in battle. Ah, we were done, kid. If neither unit is defeated in a battle, the side with the lower percentage HP remaining is the loser. Loser! Upon losing a battle, the defeated unit is knocked back and enters a waiting state, rendering it immobile for a short time. Set the clock thing around him. We almost have them, just one more push. We march. Onward. Get him. Engaging a waiting unit will grant the attacking unit a first strike. A unit executing a first strike will always act first, regardless of initiative. Oh, that's good. That's good. So yeah, aside from Water Sword, I also play a couple of strategy-based games like Arknights and so on. I tend to favor the strategy side of games a lot more. Good. All that remains now is to reclaim the town. That's where Lex. That's where. That's where Lex is headed, right? I hope he's okay. That's the is missing there. Liberating facilities. Garrisoning a unit in a town, fort, or other facility will allow that unit to liberate the facility. The time is at hand. To me. Go. We go. Tis ours now. Tis ours now. <laughs> oh, I see the bar increasing. If liberating facilities will replenish valor points and boost your score upon completing the stage. Additionally, facilities that have been liberated will serve as bases from which allied units can be deployed. Legs! Hey, sorry about that, they caught me off guard there. But don't worry, everyone's safe, I made sure of it. I knew I was right to count on you, and I'm glad you're unharmed as well. Still wish I could have done more though. Here, let me scout out here to make up for it. Units can be ordered to move to any location you specify. Select Lex's unit, then move him to the map location. I'm He's gonna up. scout ahead. But I can yes, see sir. the map, can't I? But what what does he need to scout ahead for? Well, I can done. see the Oh. Oh, fog of war? Just what I was hoping for. It's time to show these guys what I made of. Is there fog of war in this Shooting. game? Move Lex's unit to the enemy to commence but what? Which enemy? Oh they're all they're all the same. Doesn't you matter. Got it. That's not good. That doesn't look good to me for some reason. Oh dear. Is there anything I can do to help your calls? Nope. Nothing at all? Nope. I can't interact with that yet. Okay. Still to tell mode. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my boy, you're getting destroyed. Ouch. Oh my god, he's gonna die. <coughs> oh, you're fucking dead, man. What the hell are you thinking? What the fuck? Sorry, let me let me read those. Lex! Ah, wait, no. Damn, might have gotten too eager there. Lex! No, you'll never make it in time. Allow me, your highness. Unit mobility. Different units have differing degrees of mobility. The higher the stat is, the quicker they'll move through a battle stage. The unit's combined mobility is determined by the individual mobility stats of its members. Oh 
God, Joseph, please. Joseph, please, you gotta help this man. You gotta help this fool, man. Run to him. Uh, carry him on your horse. Wait, I am your foe this day. Prepare to be struck down. When two allied units are in close proximity, one can swap in for the other? Press R1 or R1 to have Joseph's unit swap in for Lexus. For battle, you see a prediction of how much damage each unit will take. Note how these predictions change when swapping units. This isn't oh, you dead, well, boy. You dead. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> that's much better. <laughs> Forty gold. I take it. <laughs> yeah, you better run, boys. Lex, are you all right? You fucking idiot. Somehow, yeah. Sorry for making you worry. You know, it's a miracle you can even put your armor on straight. Yeah, this medicine should hook you up again. Healing tonic. When the combatants' he HP falls to zero, they'll be rendered incapacitated. Items and skills can restore HP and revive incapacitated combatants. Select the items option from the unit's action menu to use an item. Okay, so this thing. Yeah, there you go, you're healed now. Oh, I needed that. No shit. Oh god. Chloe, perhaps you'd be better self watching after things directly. Oh, I feel it's a bit of a liability on this. Oh, oh, that's a low blow there. Very much agreed. Oh, no messing around. Lex, I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Oh no. Oh, you poor man. You're part of the joke already. This area appears to be safe for the time being. Let's hurry on to the next harbor. Oh no. My word. But that's Podrick. Yeah, it is him. It is that guy. He and I used to stand on the stalwart pillars of Spawner's defense. I may possibly have changed him. Prepare yourself, rebels. But you don't recognize them anymore. Any foolish enough. To defy Emperor Galerius must be put to the sword. Oh no, not the sword. It seems combat is our only path forward. Indeed, reading this line of the enemy must be our first and only priority. No matter who that enemy might be. Is it because this isn't your island? So you uh, kind of can't afford to... Yeah, I guess so. Defeat conditions, the time limit expires. There's a time limit, okay. Victory conditions, defeat Odric. Move cursor while holding X to select multiple units and give them all the same order at once. After selecting the desired units, release X and choose a destination to order all selected units to hit toward that destination. Holding a unit to move or pressing X during a battle will pause the game. Movement items can be used even while the game is paused. Press circle to resume the game. Oh, that is good. So, uh, what they said earlier was move this thing, hold X, and now I can select the units I want to move. Uh, sure, everyone move here and move wish. there first. Press circle to unpause. Okay, yeah, I, I see, I see. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Mm. Your villainy ends come. Here. Come then, gaze your villainy ends here. He's level 20. I, I guess I'll let these units level up. Preferably. Maybe there's like this, this level up, uh, limitation system or something. I'm not sure. Uh let's just keep keep it going. I shall hold nothing. Come then. Come. You face me. Gaze upon the face of your come then. Come. Your villainy They're kind of vulnerable to this. I wonder why. Maybe it's not worth taking a 24 damage. Yeah, for this one, Joseph will solo. Hold fast! Great. I've not chosen my grave yet. Gaze upon the you face me. Oh, that's Come. better. Your that's that's not here. like a lot of damage. I think this is fine. Kill him! Get him! Get him! Light. Ah. A fine job. 
A bit more context on the PS5 I'm currently using with the project I recently bought. The PS5 is from a friend and I just kind of uh, I just kind of borrowed it from my friend. Well, borrow is a nice word. To be frank, I took it from my friend. Yes, I took I it from my friend. Back. Wait, what? We fight. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Except the mercy of a swift demise. He just attack Hodrick. I failed to understand Hodrick. What has motivated this shift in allegiance? Maybe I moved them too close. Cornea's most decorated knight. I shall close the book on your tail myself. You see, like he's a stranger. What the heck? What? I have you. Oh. I fight in me yet. Such firm defenses. Our weapons barely leave a scratch. Yeah, he did one damage. That's a big metal shield. Press my magic will work then. Leave this to me, Elaine. Oh, mixed damage. Oh no. Oh, R2 to fast forward the game. Advancing time. I noticed. Thank you. Fast forward. Can be used in stages and during battles. Yes, I, I noticed. Thank you. Uh, for you, I will change your movement destination well. to here for now. Uh, wait, no. What would you ask? I'll change your movement destination to here for now. And uh, unpause. I am yours to command, come on, Lex. Come on. You. Oh, you lost the first strike. I'm ready to hit something. Uh, doesn't matter, you're killing them anyway. You do a lot of damage. Oh, she does a lot of damage. Look at that, 11. That's better than Lex, I think. Lex did like... I don't remember. How... Oh, 11 as well. Never mind. <laughs> oh, it's a shame. So overkill damage is kind of wasted. Huh? Yeah, I mean... I told you I'm awesome. Ready. So earlier they were talking about the shield or oh, that's two damage no there's no point in making making him fight Onward. just let's go with this. You face me. Why are you doing this? You who once stood as my mother's royal guard. Why you betray her? Enough of your questions, well interfere and I shall see you suffer for it. Why do you betray her? Why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. They gave me free brownies. They have better welfare compared to. They have better welfare compared to your mother. <laughs> they gave better welfare compared to your mother. Your villainy ends here. Doesn't matter. I'll make you see the light. All the welfare is worth nothing when you're dead, bitch. Another step <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, level 2. Nice. Very nice. Alright, yeah. This is great. This is great. I like the game. <laughs> that was fun. But I saw some interesting parts there as well. Like, at the very end of the... Uh, at the very end of the... No, not at the very end. At one of the labels there, there was this tag, I think. It's like you can do something more than just what whatever's shown here. Is this? What foolishness is this? One such as I, brought low by the cornea vermin that gnawed our ankles. You've fallen far indeed, Hodrick. How many times did you stare death in the face at Her Majesty's side? Now, look what you've become. Look what you make me do. I may stand as your sword master no longer, but I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. Wait. Your Highness. Tell me, Hodrick. Do you remember the times you and I played together? When I was still just a boy? Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? Were brownies that good? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. Do you lace them with we? Is all I ask. Please. Were you getting high off of the brownies? Tell me honestly, Hodrick. The ring? What sorcery is this? 
Oh, he purified him. What am I doing here? Oh my God, he purified him. He's the unicorn overlord. He's purifying the icons in the world. shackle the hearts of men. It is the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill-fated day, all the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. Oh no. A frightful power, if what you say is true. This spell of control, it could be called. So convenient, man. Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Fevrith to its knees. Just shook the responsibility. I think what unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years. Though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be mere regalia. A symbol of your birthright and nothing more. To think the power of cleansing truly exists. Your Highness, that is the Ring of the Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. The Orthodoxy yeah. has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn. How it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. Name the thing it's after the thing. It's possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. Makes sense. The ring purifies, the unicorn purifies. Should Galerius' rule be built upon a fell sorcery that fetters our people, then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring true, my prince. Indeed. Were we able to free those bound by his cruel <laughs> magics? It the might just bring the iron man. wall of Zenoira crashing down. All told, I've often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march, or paltry vendetta? Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. I bet. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists that will soon be dispelled. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled and slay Galerius like the beast he is. The Unicorn Overlord. But really, Hodrick's face looks so stone, man. <laughs> that just say, just say yes to everything he says. <laughs> it's the best way for me to avoid responsibility. And how does Hodrick fare? Well, all things considered, any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. By the way, Your Highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clive. Clive. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we've reached solid ground. You have my thanks. A word, Elaine? Is something wrong? Well... I just noticed. But no, it's nothing. Are you sure? That's a lot of jiggle. Anxiety oh god. Death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. It really isn't important, I assure you. It's just our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. But I've always known this day would come. It's why I've spent all these years training under Joseph's careful instruction. A shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward, royal blade in arm. But as her heir, I intend to lead in much the same way. 
Is that why you and Lex spent all your days banging swords down at the shore? It's so suggestive. <laughs> You've seen that, have you? <laughs> you know, Podrick was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. To reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Elaine, I... Of course. I'll do everything I can. As is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me! <sighs> Lex! <laughs> what? Crashes into the poppy. Prince. Decorum doesn't come naturally to this fool. It's all right. It's fool. When you've known each other as long as we have, there's no reason to let formality bind us. It's fool. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the crown. Still, I'm of the same mind. What mind he has, that is. Oh my god, I'll stop my the rules. The royal name, your majesty. <laughs> Please Thank stop the rules. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. So, Unicorn Overlord. The game that I yeah, don't worry about these. I just uh, kind of idle. The moment I uh, hit ground there, I just kind of like pause the game, forgot to turn off the bloody thing. So this can go. Yeah, don't worry about me. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's all for me for now. I will see you guys next time.